Hey guys, so today we're going to do a, a little backyard build. I, I've been needing an anchor. I went out on the lake the other day and I have one anchor. Well, actually I have two, but the other one is just, it's one of them uh, folding anchors and it doesn't really catch where I'm, where I'm fishing at. It just kind of drags around. So I was having a real hard time setting up. So I want to make a good anchor that I can, that, you know, that I can depend on while I'm out there fishing. So uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'll show you how to build it if you guys feel like building one. I'm just going to use some PVC. This is 3 inch uh, PVC, schedule 40, and then a 3 inch cap, some chain. And I don't know if this chain's big enough for what I need, but we're going to try it. And then I have some, some 3 8 rebar back here. So let's go ahead and get started. It's going to be pretty simple. Um, this is a two foot piece of PVC and I'm thinking my anchor should probably be around 16 inches long. So I'm just going to mark it here at 16. And we're just going to cut it right here. Now what I'm going to do is I take my drill, a couple of drill bits, I'm going to use this one just to get a pilot hole on it. What I want to do is I want to drill two holes in this cap. two holes. Now the idea I want is I want to double up that 3A3 bar and thread it through these holes. So let's do a little math. I've got 16 here. I want another foot. So yeah, we'll give a little bit for the top. So that's double, so we'll go 64 on this thing here. Enough to 
give both sides and the anchoring point. two more pieces probably about Now we have all the parts that we need, so let me get rid of this thing. We can start on our build. Alright, so first thing is just we'll make sure this rebar fits through here, which is what we want. And that's, that'll work just fine. So we're going to put the cap on this. And we don't need it. We don't need to glue it or anything. It's gonna be trapped on there. It's not gonna go anywhere. That's good enough. Okay. So the next idea is we're gonna take this. We cut it 64. Cut it. We're gonna bend it in half. 32. So we're going to try to bend this rebar. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cheater bar. Alright, so I just got a piece of pipe. Use it as a cheater. And slide it on here. I've got the other part wedged into my sawhorse. So I'm gonna hit it with a with a hammer. Okay. So I got it pretty much where I want it. Just a, a beating with a sledgehammer got it there. So now we're going to thread this through. Okay, so you can see where we're at. I'm a little bit off here, which is okay. I'm gonna just cut it off with the chop saw real quick. No big deal. So now we got it pretty close to what we want. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this chain and hopefully it'll fit on here. There it goes. Come on. Slide it into the tube a little ways. So it's into the, into the pipe. Okay. Try to go a little more. What I want is to have enough chain to come back to the top here. Which is pretty much what I've got right there. Okay. 
So now, let's take my little, take my little cheater, and then this. going to bend these try to get something about the same size as what we've got going here Now we have these two L's. So what we're going to do with these, is these are going to sit right in here once we pour concrete in it. So let me mix up a little bit of concrete and then we can get this going. Alright, so I went and mixed up my, my concrete, it's just quick read, I bought a, a little bag of quick read at the store, uh, Lowe's, that's where I bought most of this stuff, and I changed up my configuration, I put my saw horses and I'm just, I'm just resting this on a couple of pieces of board here so I could fill up the tube with concrete, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we're just going to dump this in as carefully as we can. Now is take the butt end of my hammer and I'm just going to beat this. This will help get all the air out and make sure that the concrete fills up smoothly. And there's no air pockets in there or honeycombing as they call it. Okay. one of these legs and I'm just going to work that concrete in there. This also helps to pack it down. Okay, just needs a little 
little bit more. just over here so see if it'll hold this chain up yeah that'll work for what we need to do that's gonna work all right guys so I'm gonna let this concrete set up for 24 hours and then uh, and then we'll get back to this build so I'll see you guys in 24 hours Alright guys, so it's been 24 hours, more or less, and the concrete's hardened up, and this is what we've got going on right now. The chain is right in the middle of this thing, and then we've got these four legs that are going to be the hooks, and then we've got the top eye, and it's all connected as one unit. As far as the chain and the hook is concerned, they're either way they're hooked together right there. So uh, the idea behind this anchor is to take a zip tie and zip tie this to this top loop, and then have your have your main line tied off to your chain so that when you throw your anchor out and if you get snagged let's say you're in a snag like this and it won't come out you use the force of your boat to break the zip tie and then it pulls it out backwards this way that's what the chain's for so just keep a few extra zip ties on hand and you can always put it back on uh, the, you, know, you don't have to have the chain if you don't want to. You can always use it to just tie directly here and do away with the chain. But I thought it was a good idea, so I incorporated it into this anchor. So right now, what I'm going to do is I just want to want to bend these rebar a little bit, these, these legs, and and uh, give it a little bit more hooking power. So let's do that. I'm just going to take my cheater bar, come over here, uh, right here maybe. Bend it like that. Same thing with this one.
hooks that I wanted to get. And I got those hooks on there. So now really all that's left is to put a little paint on it if you want and then tie your rope to the chain if you put the chain. If not, tie it right here. Zip tie the chain if you want. And that's a done deal. So I'm going to throw a little paint on this and then I'll show you the final product when I'm done. Alright guys, so this is the final product here. I painted it black. I uh, went ahead and put the chain on with the zip tie right here, as you can see. And then the chain is tied off to the rope. And I'm pretty, pretty happy with the way it came out. I'm probably be using it here pretty soon. Uh, one thing about the concrete I forgot to tell you is let it set for seven days before you throw it into the river. Uh, concrete takes seven days before it cures. So just keep that in mind before you start using it if you decide to make one of these. If you're not much of a builder and you'd rather purchase something that's already made, uh, my buddy Steve Douglas has a great product out there. It's a Monster River Anchor. So I'll put the link in the description if you're interested in that as well as a video that he has about it. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.